see if you bastards can do 90. Alright, I just recorded this video, but it didn't save for some reason. So, I'll just do it again real quick. Uh, I watched this movie the other night. It was like a Friday, Friday or Saturday night. Nothing going on. Figure I'd throw it on. See what it was like. Uh, Bounty Killer from 2013. I think I first uh, got wind of it by watching the trailer on the iTunes site. And then it kept popping up on my Netflix. It's on instant Netflix right now. So I figured it looked like a decent B-grade, campy type of movie. And it pretty much was. Uh, like I said, it's probably going to be a short review. Uh, I'll give you the quick rundown on the plot. So the world was starting to get dominated by corporations. And they started this big global war. Results on an apocalypse. Eventually a council, a council of nine people, start to kind of bring things into order. And they start issuing uh, warrants, or bounties I should say, for white collar criminals. And the people that go and get them are called bounty killers. That's kind of the, that's how the world's set up. And pretty bleak. And the two most popular and famous bounty killers are Mary Death. And she's the, the woman on the cover and on the, my blog, on the poster. And then Drifter is the other really popular and famous bounty killer. He's like the first bounty killer. And uh, he's more of like a, you know, Old West type, grizzled, dreads a motorcycle. And she, Mary Death, is pretty flashy. She's, you know, super sexy and has a stylized outfit and drives a old muscle car, a Camaro or a GTO or something. It's painted it all nice. And so they go out and get these bounties and they get paid for um, just the bodies. That it just have, they just kill them, they don't have to bring them back alive or anything like that. And that's kind of the setup. And then something starts happening. Um, plot twist. They need to go and figure out kind of what's going on with the Council of Nine and what's happening with these, there's a big new corporation coming in trying to take over. And so they team up, Drifter and Mary Death, and it seems like they have some sort of past together and realize they do. Drifter trained Mary Death, and she used to be a gypsy. Um, if you're looking at the cover or the poster, uh, the gypsies are, they have their faces all painted black and white, like skeletons and stuff like that. Those are the gypsies, and they have to go and figure out what's happening with this new corporation trying to take over. There's some decent like C-level actors now that make appearances, little cameos. Gary Busey, crazy Gary Busey is one of the uh, white collar guys. Beverly D'Angelo from the Vegas vacation movies, the vacation movies. Uh, she makes a real short appearance, like owner of like a brothel or a whorehouse. Uh, the main characters, I guess I didn't mention, uh, Mary Death is played by Christian Petre. Uh, she's not really in much. Uh, Drifter is played by Matthew Marsden. He's not in much either. He's a British guy. Eve, the singer-rapper Eve, makes an appearance in the movie. She's like one of the main gypsies. I actually recognized her voice right away. But anyways, and the director, he's not a big-name director or anything like that. Henry Sane, he's a graphic artist. He's worked on some TV. I think it was like kind of a passion project for him that he did a, a short video, short film of this first and then I was able to make it into a feature length. So that was pretty cool that you know you can make it into a feature length movie. And um like I it, it is what I expected, actually. I was thinking it'd be a good like B movie, kinda campy. And it, it pretty much is. There's got you know the gratuitous violence. Uh there's some good action actually. Uh, there's a lot of gunfights and stuff like that. They're really good. I forgot to mention there's another guy who joins Drifter and Mary Death. Uh, he's a, a gun caddy. He like helps them reload and gets their guns ready and stuff for them. Uh, the special effects in the movie aren't that great, but it actually makes it kind of funnier because they are so poor at times. And, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. You know, don't go on with huge expectations of some giant action film or something great story-wise acting is okay you know they're not gonna win any oscars or anything like that that's kind of like a 
a mashup between, of course, you get the Road Warrior vibe going right away with the the world that they're living in. And I kept thinking of the movie War, Inc. as a John Cusack movie where well, war is really corporatized and, you know, owned by corporations or sponsoring it and stuff like that. It's kind of a combination of the two. And then it's got the uh, vibe of uh, R- Robert Rodriguez's machete movies you know that intentionally campy b-level movie um obviously doesn't have the huge budget that robert Rodriguez has or the bigger name cameos but it's kind of like a, a poor man's version of that or a, a lesser version of machete i've actually, actually haven't seen the machete movies but i've wanted to for quite a while so yeah that's kind of what you're getting that's pretty fun actually you know if you don't have huge expectations you just want to watch something fun and you you know what you're going to be getting into. So I gave it a 3 out of a 5. Um, it's decent. It's only 92 minutes. Um, so yeah, you could do worse. And um, this is the second time I've recorded this, so I think I'm going to be done. Um, and just remember, if you find yourself in this post-apocalyptic world, make sure you keep your gun caddy on your left. <laughs>